Hello. Today I wanted to talk about how I um, edit files and run files for OpenSeas in Notepad++. So as you can see right here, I have a test file in my Notepad++ editor. Right now there's no custom, there's no uh, syntax highlighting. Um, it's just plain text. Um, so I have up here, I have some tickle stuff, uh, like opening, putting to a file and closing it. And some open C stuff. I have uh, created a simple model. This is just like a, a simple elastic beam column, and I'm just pulling on it. Um, something you can do with hand calculations. Uh, just doing this just to verify. So, um, and to demonstrate some of the different commands. So, if I go up here to language, some people, what they might do is they might go and change it to tickle since we're working with open C's tickle. Um, and this does work to some extent. Um, uh, all the tickle commands are highlighted. Um, variables are highlighted. Quotes are highlighted. Uh, braces, you can actually have the functionality. Um, so it works to some extent. Um, however, all the open seas commands are, are left out to dry. Um, except for load, which is actually also a tickle command. Um, just a side note of compatibility. Um, if you want to load binary files in in OpenSea's tickle using the load command, do it before you call model because model will override the tickle load command. So just a side note. That being said, um, what you can do in, open, in uh, Notepad++ is you can go up and you can actually create a user-defined language. I have this here, but anyways. So if I go up to user-defined language, um, I can add keywords, uh, model, node, fix, geometric transformation, uh, element, time series, excuse me. And uh, yeah, so this is the user-defined language. So if I change this language to user-defined, then you'll see that those are highlighted. So I, I've had the color set as red. Um, so as you can go up here in style, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, if you want to have it hot pink, you can have it hot pink. There you go, look at that, looking good. Okay, so, um, however, uh, some people have already done all this work for open seas. Uh, myself included. Uh, so I'm going to jump on over to uh, my GitHub. Um, and the, I have a repository called OpenSeas Notepad++. And I have a custom syntax language um, already built up for it, um, modified by work done by Alirmac. Link is right there. Um, and I try to keep this up to date with, um, with new developments in Tickle and in Notepad, uh, and in, well, Notepad++ as well, and OpenSea. So I, I mean, as, as far as the timing of this video goes, I had updated it less than a month ago. So I, I try to keep up to date with things. Um, so that being said, uh, you can just download uh, a zip file, um, or if you're good with GitHub, uh, you can clone the repository. Um, and I didn't mean to open it up in WinRAR. Let's uh, get that out of here. I meant to just extract it. So you extract the files. I'm doing that right now. And uh, so you'll see here, these are the files that you get. There's OpenSeas Autocomplete as well as OpenSeas Lang. There's function lists is too. Um, I honestly don't use it. Um, I created it, but <laughs> I don't use it. So I'm just going to focus on the lang and the autocomplete for now. Um, so the lang, it's an XML file. Um, you can actually right click it and open it up. You can see everything in here as far as the keywords. And um, But we're not really going to go into the actual XML. Um, instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Notepad++, go to language, use to define, define, and we're going to import. And I'm going to go to my downloads and import the language directly. So now if I go down to OpenSeas here, you'll see it has all the keywords added in. 
Um, this is all of the OpenSea's commands, all the OpenSea's materials and elements, and, um, and as well as all of the tickle commands. So now if I change the language here to OpenSea's, you'll see that um, it's pretty similar to the uh, tickle formatting as far as like the blue goes. Um, I did take a little bit of creative liberty and changing around some of the colors. Um, uh, so if you don't like it, you can just go up to the language and you can go to um, the styler for any of these. If you want to, instead of making it that color, if you want to make the, the variables like that pink color, you can do that. You can see over there it changes it, or you can make it, I don't know, black if you want. It's all up to you. Um, you could even go crazy. I mean, you could make it italic and bold and underlined. So, um, and size 20, is for <laughs> 22. Uh, you can have fun with it if you want. Um, or you can just keep it as it is. This is the, the way that I use it. So um, I do not profess to be a expert in graphic design or anything. So um, if you have a better idea, then go for it. Um, and feel free to share. Okay, um, so anyways, so now that I have a uh, nice syntax um, highlighting, uh, the next thing that I like to do is I like to also have um, autocomplete. So right now, um, I mean, it, it'll autocomplete things that have already been written, but if I wanted to do something that hasn't been written, like, uh, I don't know, node acceleration, that's a highlighted command, but it didn't autocomplete. So if I go back to my folder here, this is the autocomplete file. This is only gonna work if you actually have administrative access in your computer, because you have to go to the program files and actually paste it here. So I'm just gonna copy this file and I'm gonna go into, I already have it here, because I've been here recently. Um, and you go into the autocompletion folder in your program files for Notepad++. And you just paste it there. Um, have to do administrative access. And then you're going to want to rename it just to OpenSeas. And once you do that, I'm going to restart, open, uh, restart Notepad++. And now, as you can see, I just type in node and I have all this stuff come up. So now I have a nice editor where I can have autocomplete for OpenSeas commands. It all highlights OpenSeas commands, um, as well as tickle commands. Uh, the next thing to do is how to run it from Notepad++. Um, so if you go back to my repository, uh, I have instructions on how to do it, both using a command line uh, or uh, like a CMD uh, command line uh, window or a PowerShell window. Um, I use PowerShell. Um, I know a lot of people use command, win command line. Um, the reason I use PowerShell is because it's easier to copy text from PowerShell uh, window than from CMD window. Um, but just for an example here, I'm just going to use the CMD. So I copy that, um, and you go up in Notepad++ to the Run uh, tab up here, and you can just paste it in there, and I'm going to run it, and there you go. It runs open seas. Um, I created a file right there, which I can open up in my down, no, not downloads desktop. Let's see, hello world. And it puts the node displacement to screen. So you'll see here it's approximately one e to the negative four, which if you do calculation, hand calculations, it'll confirm that a load of one on a, uh, essentially a truss with an area of 10 and I of, or E of 1,000, you get 1 E to the negative 4. Um, so everything is looking good. Open Seas is running fine. Um, tickle stuff's running fine. Um, so yeah, so one last thing to do is, um, so if this is the run path you want to do, then you can actually save it as a shortcut. And I have mine saved as Open Seas. And I have a key bind to it, so I can just quickly just do a shortcut to run OpenC. So I'm going to show mine with uh, running in PowerShell. So I just do Control Shift Enter on my keyboard, 
and bing bada boom there's uh the results and everything is looking good so i can select the text in there copy it whatever so that's about it um that's how i run open seas from notepad plus plus um as well as how to uh, install a custom syntax language and auto completion in notepad plus plus thanks for watching